Hi, I'm Josh uh, at North Brewing. Um, we're just here on our opening day at our retail location and our new brewery in Dartmouth, uh, 899 Portland Street. Um, we're having a barbecue and a bouncy castle, and we're raising some money for the Coal Harbor Heritage Farm. Uh, yeah, we're just having like a family fun day and getting to meet everyone in the new neighborhood. And this is Brad. Hello. <laughs> Are you gonna say anything? <laughs> <laughs> no, you said it all. Okay. I'm Alan Bergeron. I'm the producer for the play, Sorry Not Sorry. And uh, it's our third production, I believe. Third production. Which is, uh, this one is a little different. It's so, actually a, a lot different. I'm Trevor Pierce. I'm the director and the chief architect because we built this play. We started off with an idea of what does it mean to be sorry, and then we explored it in as many different ways as we could. Right? Sorry when you're made to be sorry. Sorry when you're not really sorry. Sorry, but it's too late. So there's all kinds of different ideas of all around the idea of being sorry. It's an exploration, and it's we weren't sure what was going to happen when we started. This is what we have now. Hey, I'm Scott, president of Wren's Pets, and we are here at our Dartmouth new store. We've opened two stores in Nova Scotia, but we've been around for a long time, almost 45 years. We're going to have 26 stores, and uh, we're so excited to be here, and really, we're all about your pet's best life. So come and see us. We've got the best foods and toys and treats to make your cat and dog and small animals feel great. We'd love to see you. We've got lots going on. Sale has just started for six days now. Hi, and welcome to Dartmouth Book Exchange. Today, we welcome Diane Lynn MacGyver, a local fantasy writer. Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm great. Why don't you tell everybody what we're celebrating today? We are celebrating the launch of our my third book in the uh, Castle Keepers fantasy series. It's a traditional epic fantasy series uh, of old. It uh, has dragons, um, magic, uh, dwarves, halflings, so it's not it's not new wave, <laughs> and it's it's a long time coming. I started writing the series back in my teens, so I'm now 51. So it's a long time. So, but I'm I'm happy to say that it's here, and book four will be out this fall. This fall. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Trevor Brown and I'm with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Halifax and we are with our second annual sports equipment giveaway. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank the many groups and organizations that are involved with this day and I would like to pass it on to... <laughs> so we want to thank all of the groups, uh, the Dartmouth Community Health Board, the Boys and Girls Clubs, Schools Plus, uh, the Library, HRM Recreation, the MLA's Office, Sue LeBlanc, MLA's office, Tony And Mancini. the Take Action Society and Tony Mancini, the municipal counselor. We've had lots of help, and as we can see, um, there is so much sports equipment here. We are just hoping that residents come and take as much as they can use every day. Thank you very much. We, I want to present to you, yes. Ms. Kennedy, yes. the Prime Minister's Awards for Excellence. Thank you. Like you haven't seen it already. Thank you. I know, but I'm acting. I know, it's a acting. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this will be our 19th year of this event, and it's been very, the, the community has been very good to us as far as, and we expect to do a $20,000 fund night tonight. Remember, all the funds raised tonight go to those less fortunate around the world, but particularly in our own communities right here in Nova Scotia. Porter's Lake, and this is my wife Dawn and my daughter Katie. We just want to thank you for all your support this year on Camp Day as we're sending tons of kids to camp. Thank you so much. We really appreciate all your donations. Oh, thanks for your donation. 
Nice. Definitely got a gear. Hanging out uh, with Christy Breed, owner here at this Tim Hortons location, and many locations here in, uh, in HRM. Yeah. It's Camp Day 2019. Woohoo! Always a good time. Yeah. You've got an action packed store, I see. We do, yeah. We've had uh, many stores. We've got some pie face action going down at the airport, Tim Hortons, oh, right man. now. They're pieing the manager for $200. <laughs> wow, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. How'd you get out of that? Well, next year. Next year. Next year. <laughs> well, one year I remember you slept on the roof of this place. I did, yeah. That was pretty wild. It was. It was freezing, actually. I didn't get much sleep with the traffic uh, all going around McMack Mall there, no but uh, yeah, it was great. Well, and Christy's one of these troopers. Not only is she an owner of, uh, of uh, many of our Tim Hortons, how many in the area? Nine. Nine, okay, because I used to always get that wrong. <laughs> uh, but also, quite a, a go getter in you've done Kilimanjaro. Yep. You've done, and this was all for Tim Hortons, yes. like all for the, the foundation. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing next? Everest next year, 2020. Yeah. You've yeah. heard that things aren't going well over there, I, right? I have. Okay. Yeah. Just we're, so. doing, we're only doing base camp, um, but I'm more worried about the flight on the way in. It is the most dangerous airport in the world. That's right, yeah. Um, so it's a 1,500-foot runway as opposed to 6,000 feet. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so if I make it into Everest... We're good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. She's a wildcat, but again, not only an owner, but also a giver. And of course, all uh, in support of the foundation Absolutely. as well. I'm Lisa Weatherhead, Regional Executive Director with Cystic Fibrosis Canada. Welcome to the Walk to Make Cystic Fibrosis History, celebrating our 15th year. Today, we're really excited to have about 350 people join us on the walk. My name is Christina, and I'm the committee chair. And thank you so much for tuning in. We hope to see you guys here next year.